two years since the UK voted to lead the European Union and we're only now finally seeing our first breakthrough. But don't be fooled, Brexit is far from over. This draft agreement now has to be approved by the UK Cabinet, it has to be approved by the other 27 nations of the European Union and the final say will be given to the UK Parliament who will have the ability to vote the deal down if they so choose and there are plenty of MPs who have already said they will vote against the deal. But the first hurdle is getting it past the UK Cabinet and there have been plenty within Cabinet who have told Theresa May they don't like the way uh, she's been handling Brexit, they don't like the direction she has been taking it uh, and there are some that just may well vote it down in this Cabinet meeting that Theresa May is holding on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, now if things spiral out of control it is possible uh, that not only will the deal be voted down but that Theresa May could also find herself fighting for her job. There could be a leadership spill. So Tuesday night Theresa May has spent it uh, meeting one on one with those cabinet ministers. Apparently they've been squirrelling away in a secure room reading the actual content of the deal that is on the table. Uh, but it is not clear yet whether or not it will be passed. Now not many people have seen the actual detail of the deal but of course there are leaks so this may or may not be true but the UK press is reporting uh, that the deal is stipulating for the border between Ireland and Northern Ireland to stay open then at least temporarily the whole of the UK will have to remain part of some sort of customs union with the European Union but that Northern Ireland will have to have a deeper relationship when it comes to trading. They will have to stay in some sort of single market with the European Union. Now this is a red line for so many people, particularly uh, for the ministers from Northern Ireland, the unionist ministers. They say they can't accept anything where the UK and Northern Ireland are treated differently. Boris Johnson, of course, an ardent Brexiteer, has also raised concerns about this particular detail in the deal. He feels that it means the UK will stay still be remaining far too aligned to the European Union for his liking, that this will be Brexit in name only and that the UK will have to adhere to much of the EU legislation and rules but they won't be sitting at the EU table anymore to actually have a say in what those rules and legislation are. Now let's have a little listen to what else Boris Johnson has had to say on the matter. I don't see how you can support it from a democratic point of view, I don't see how a unionist uh, can support it and I don't see how you can support it if you believe in the political economic freedom of this country. So yeah, if you ask my question, am I going to vote against it, the answer is yes. So clearly this is a critical time for the United Kingdom, very much so for Theresa May who now has just hours really to convince her cabinet to get behind her vision of Brexit or otherwise her vision of Brexit and her leadership could be derailed.